welcome back to my channel sharp designs by lakeisha where i'm designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same as you can see i am in my car so we are headed to the balloon store to get some balloons because i am going to be throwing dakota a halloween pajama movie night party <laughs> i was trying to keep the the title clear because we are going to be like decorating cookies watching a movie everybody can come in their little pajamas and you know when we done with the movie you know everybody can roll out so that's the vibe um for this year I, we threw so many parties over the years while we lived away did i tell you i was back in atlanta i don't think i did the house we have built is in atlanta so i'm excited to get started back with my business um soon to come I'm also going to go ahead and grab some balloons while I am here for my niece's first birthday. She is turning one and um, I'm, we're just going to do like a small party for her. Nothing crazy, but of course there are going to be balloons. So I'm going to get balloons for both of these events. And then I have a campaign that I need to get some balloons for as well. So I'm probably going to be in there a while. So I didn't bring the coat. As you can see, her seat is empty. I didn't bring her because she gets impatient. <laughs> Last time I took her with me um she was ready to go and i couldn't make up my mind because i don't i know what i want but i don't know the brand that i'm going to end up getting because certain brands may be out of si certain sizes so i need to find the brand that has the color in all of the sizes that i need and i also need to be watching my gps so just a quick update my blogs aren't going to be so much uh -oh. I know you guys are probably used to my blogs being more tutorial style where I'm just sticking to the balloons, but I want to start incorporating more of my everyday family life into these vlogs. So as we lead up until the party, I would be doing vlogs um, or coming in to check in with you guys on this vlog to let you guys know what's going on, what I've bought, and then we'll do everything, put everything together. I'll actually put the garland together with you guys. So that's how I'm gonna do my vlogs going forward. I hope that works out. Um, and that you guys like that um, because YouTube is such a good way to be able to go look back on memories like when I go look back on some of the things that we've done in the past like our Disney trips and things like that Dakota loves looking back at that stuff so I want to start incorporating more memories into our stuff so definitely um, stay tuned and I'm gonna check back in with y'all when I get to the balloon store bye all right y'all so we just got to the balloon store I'm gonna go inside and see what I can find So, so far, I found this Dusty Rose color, which kind of matches. And I really like this lavender, but they don't have it. So, I think I'm going to, oh, it's a macaroon lilac. So, I think I'm going to try lavender out to see if they have this one. Um, it's so hard to find all the sizes you need. So, this is 18 lavender. This is gonna be a lot of back and forth. So I will check back in with y'all once I find everything that I need. Ooh, this green is nice. That's a nice green. Hey you guys, it's been a few days since I last saw y'all, but I almost started without y'all, but I remembered. I'm gonna show y'all the balloons that I ended up getting the other day, and then we're gonna get to work because it's actually the day of, so we're on crunch time. So these are the balloon colors that I went with. We got black. Uh, this is supposed to be like a new type of blush, rose pink, and then we got, um, this is called Dusty Rose, Mirror Silver, Macaroon Lilac, and then this is called Empowerment by Tough Text, and then I have some specialty balloons. These are eyeballs, but you'll see these when I blow them up. I got spiders, bats, and then some ghosts, so. Um, and then this is some of the other stuff that you'll probably see a little later. And then I'm over here right now um, at the couch. We're actually taking over Kelvin's man cave today. So this is the space. I got rid of all his um, Georgia Bulldog stuff, except those because they're on the wall permanently. But we're going to decorate this area with food, desserts, and all that stuff. And then I started, but I remember y'all. So let me get y'all propped up so that we can get to work. <music>
guys, so I got all of my black balloons blown hey. up. I'm gonna add in some color. Got Coco over here. You wanna tell them what's going on today? Yeah. What's happening today? We had a Halloween party you, out here. And you excited? Yeah. All your friends coming? Yeah. Y'all gonna have a good time? Yeah. All right now, y'all. So yeah, so I got all the black balloons blown up over here. I'm gonna blow up the color ones off camera because I think you get the point. And then um, I'm gonna come back when we start putting it together to get up on the movie wall over here. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all. Almost forgot about y'all again. I'm starting to um, tie the garland up. I got my 260 attached. I'll show y'all how to attach that on the next go around. But for now, I'm gonna pop y'all up so y'all can see me do this part. Y'all good right there? Good. And this is a 260 balloon in case you're new here. So I'm gonna start a pattern of I started off with an 11 and an 18 inch balloon plus dupe. And then I'm going in after that with two 11 inch dupes and then doing an 11 and 18 again. That way my garland is kind of the same all the way around. So that was two 11, so now this is an 11 and an 18 I'm adding on. y'all so this is this one here and then I got my first I use command hooks this is my first one and all I did was tie a 260 to it and I'm gonna use that to tie around the end of the balloon distracted and I completely messed up I wanted to add the color balloons in with the black like do black blush black pink black mint I got distracted so now I'm gonna add them in but I'm gonna use clusters so what I did was I just made a cluster of balloons and then I added in um, a 260 so I'm just gonna put this around one that's up here let me show you do this for the rest of the colors this is how it looks for now I'm not necessarily worried about the 260 because I also still have my smaller clusters and then I can like do some fillers to go in the gaps because I have a lot of fun festive balloons so you don't it doesn't have to be perfect when you first put it on there so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of these colors just like this one and I'll be back So I just finished blowing up the next one to go over on this side. I don't feel like going to get our heavy ladder, so I'm going to use this chair and see how high I can get my next command hook. And then I have to figure out how to get them all the way around. I probably have to get the ladder, which I really don't want to have to do, but I'll be back. All right, guys, back with another update for you. She's looking real janky right now, but balloons are a process. I have a few leftover colored ones that I'm going to turn into uh, my medium-sized clusters and just add to the five inches. I blew all my five inches up last night, so I got more black than colored ones because I knew I wanted the garland to be mostly black. So these are the color ones. Balloons are crazy right now, so I wasn't able to find clusters in the rose pink color or the green, but that's okay because I also have some silver that I'm gonna do last. And then I have these specialty balloons that I'm gonna be adding in. So we're gonna start adding these in. All right, here we go. 
Y'all, I just got through recording, or I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I was showing y'all that I have what I have for my specialty balloons. So I have some black and white stripe, some ghosts. Aren't these cute? And then I also have some spiders. I also have eyeballs, but I'm not going to add the eyeballs in until I do all of my clusters over here, my smaller ones. found them so these are my bats so let's see I'm gonna start blowing them up and add these on and then I'm gonna do the fillers that way that can fill in any gaps so I like to do larger balloons and stuff first that way they blend in with the garland better so I'm gonna blow this up I'm gonna try to do it with, I don't have that small piece I'm gonna try to blow this up with this balloon pump because I don't feel like going to get my hand pump Alright, so I just got through blowing up my eyeball balloons. I'm going to use my 260 balloons and on one end I'm going to put the eyeball. And on the other end I'm going to put a cluster. Alright, so now that I have majority of our little garland arch situation done, I'm going to use my leftover balloons here to just do some larger clusters and fillers to add a little bit more color since I already blew them up. And then we're going to call it a wrap. And I'll show y'all how the final results look. Past weekend, Dakota took over her dad's man cave to host her first annual Halloween Boojama movie night. I did all the work, but Evite made getting the guests here easy. In just a few minutes, I had invitations sent out and Evite also tracked the RSVP. Once invitations were sent out, it was time to get to work on decor. I did a fun balloon garland that had all the spooky details like ghosts, bats, eyeballs, and spiders. Of course, you can't have a movie night without popcorn, so Bonita rolled that right on out. And in the back of the room, I did a fun setup on the table for them to be able to eat their food and enjoy some snacks. I did a cute candy board that included all the spooky gummies as well as a chocolate board. And we also did some painting, so they had a cute little easel setup with Halloween themed painting for them to do. We had some fruit, cupcakes. They had so much fun in this back space. Once I was done setting up, I got Dakota out. She loved the space and her and her friends had a good time over to evite.com slash Lakeisha to choose from thousands of design options. To